regarding warm ischemia time and cold ischemia time in kidney transplant warm ischemia time this is also called as the donor warm ischemia time this is the time from the clamping of the renal vessels from the donor till the time placing it to the cold storage or the cold perfusion this is more damaging than the cold ischemia time that is if the time is getting delayed there is more chances for the graft kidney to get damaged and up to 60 minutes is acceptable and one important point is if the warm ischemia time one is increasing more than 20 minutes there is more chances of delayed graft function next is the cold ischemia time there are two varied definitions which is given first is the it is the time period which extends from the cold perfusion to the start of the venous anastomosis in textbooks they have mentioned that this as a time period of cold storage or perfusion they didn't uh, extend this period till the venous anastomosis but there are two definitions for this cold ischemia time in a cadaver renal donor transplant if the cold ischemia time is less than 12 hours it is ideal up to 24 hours is acceptable some centers might not take the kidney if the cold ischemia time process more than 36 hours there is no guideline uh, clear cut guideline given this also varies from center to center but if it is more than 36 hours of cold ischemia time better to avoid because the risk of damage to the graft kidney is very high next warm ischemia time 2 this is also called as the recipient warm ischemia time or the reworm time or the anastomosis time x y o warm ischemia time or the implantation time up to 45 minutes is acceptable this is the time period from removal of the kidney from the cold storage or perfusion till the completion of renal artery anastomosis and unclamping the unclamping the lock and allowing the perfusion so it is from the removal from the cold storage till the time kidney get perfused this is warm ischemia time 2 so basically warm ischemia time one is from clamping of the donor vessel till the time it reaches the uh, cold perfusion the time period the kidney is in the cold storage that is cold ischemia time and warm ischemia time 2 is the from cold storage to the connection and unclamping in the recipient with respect to the cold ischemia time in the textbook it is given as the time period for the cold storage and a few other definitions have including from the cold storage till the venous anastomosis so that's all